Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be watering my IKEA greenhouse cabinet and I figured I would take you guys along while I water the plants and show you guys some plant updates. I recently just reorganized this cabinet a few weeks ago so if you want to check out that video you can go and check it out here. So today is my plant watering day. I kind of water my plants on a schedule but not really. I water all the plants at the same time pretty much because they all dry out at the same time. I only water my plants when they are dry and since I have all of my personal plants like in Ikea greenhouse cabinets they kind of do dry out around the same time. Some of the plants in here are pretty dry but there are a few that are a little moist so I'll probably skip over them this week. That's how I water the plants and I'm also going to be watering the plants with some fertilizer today. I'm going to be using the liquid fertilizer by Dynagrow. I talk about it all the time. You can find the link in the description. And I am going to be watering the plants using my sprayer. You can find this sprayer on Amazon or like Home Depot. I like to use this just because I don't like holding a watering can, so this makes it easier. This plant right here is a Philodendron Gloriosum Silver. This was an unrooted chunk and it did recently put out this leaf here, so it's looking really good. It does have a new leaf on the way as well. I think that I'm not going to keep this plant um, just because I already have the Gloriosum. I do have the Gloriosum Green already, so I don't think I necessarily need this one, but I was kind of just growing this one out, like rehabbing it, and I really liked the way it looked in here, so I just stuck it in here, but I do think I'm going to list this on the website for sale. And then here is an update on the Variegated Fry Deck. This is how it's looking. I really love this leaf here, and then we have this leaf right here as well. It's been growing quite well in the soil free potting mix. You can kind of see the roots here. I keep it in a little cup like this with no drainage and I just like water it like kind of as normal just not like soaking it completely because obviously I don't want like a lot of water at the bottom but just like going around the edges and stuff like that that's usually enough. So I just moved the camera a little closer so you can kind of see better because I don't really feel like moving everything out of the way. But back here, this is my Monstera Adansonii Aria. This is one of the three that I got for the shop. This one was the least variegated. I do have two other ones on the shop at the moment and they are much more variegated than this one is. And I do have this on one of my soil free moss poles. So the thing about the Aria is that it takes a little while to produce that yellow color. So some of the variegation comes in light green and then eventually it'll fade to yellow. I really like how this leaf looks. It kind of looks like marbled. It's really pretty. Like I said, the rest of the leaves are kind of low variegated and they only have a little bit. This one up here looks like it's promising. Um, you can't really tell on camera, but at least half of it is like the light green. So I'm hoping it fades to yellow. So then I have this plant right here. This is a Cirrhosis mirabellus. It finally has a new leaf on the way and you can see it needs a repot desperately. Um, I'm probably going to repot it soon and I have to cut off these little stems here that like died off. It does have a nice new leaf coming in so that's exciting. This plant was an import that I got and it's really just taking a long time for me. I don't know why because I have other ones like on the shop that are growing really nicely that have like multiple leaves but I'm not sure. This one in particular is just growing a little bit slow but I'm happy to see this new leaf. I feel like this one is on its way out because it's turning a little bit light green and normally it's a little bit darker. That's kind of the pattern I've been having with this plant in particular. One leaf would come in and then one leaf would die. Obviously you can see that the little stems are here. I'm not sure but I'm hoping that I can get at least two leaves or three leaves at a time at some point because it is a really beautiful plant and I do really like it. So up here is my little Anthurium Queen seedling. It looks like this. It's doing really well. I recently repot this one and two other ones into their own pots and the other two have already sold. So I decided to keep this one just to see if I could grow it a little bit bigger. I probably am going to sell it in the future. I think I want to grow it a little bit bigger and then I'm going to sell it as a bigger specimen. But for now it's doing well and it just lives here. And I'm aware that there's a ton of water in their saucers. I'm going to come back in like an hour or two and dump out their saucers. I like to keep the water in there for like an hour or so just so that the plant can soak up a little bit more water. 
but I will come back and dump it because if you just leave it there, the plants will get root rot at some point. So just be careful of that if you're using saucers. And then right next to it, I have this little Hoya here. I'm not gonna water this one because it actually was just watered, I think yesterday, because it looked really, really dry. So you can see that there's some water in here, but I don't wanna uh, mess with this one today, but this is how it's looking. I really prefer small Hoyas. So I usually will just take like a little piece or like a little strand off of a bigger specimen and then I'll just keep it for myself. I also really just like the size of these cups and I feel like you can have cute little plants in these like cute cups like this. So this guy just sits up here for now as well. The pegboard back here along with this hanging shelf there's another pegboard at the bottom and another hanging shelf and a corner shelf. They are all from the website modernaqua.com. They make acrylic pegboards, shelves, anything you want for your Ikea greenhouses. That's where it's from. This plant down here is a Hoya glabra. It looks very similar to the Sarawak, but it is different. The veining underneath is much different than the typical Sarawak, so that's how you can kind of tell the difference. I did find this plant at Equigenera pop-up, which lately they have been having a little bit more Hoyas, which I like to see. Um, I'm kind of over Equigenera's like regular plants because it's like always the same thing. So it's nice to go there and see something you've never seen before and I've never seen this Hoya and I really liked it so I did pick it up. I also only go to the Equigenera events like on the last day when they're having like their discount because I don't really want to pay a full price for their plants. So yeah the selection is usually a little bit sparse but I was happy to find this really nice Hoya. So I think they have another one coming up maybe June or July. I have to check their schedule, but if they do, I'm definitely going to look for some more Hoyas that I don't have because there are just so many Hoyas out there and I really am starting to love them. So this Hoyo does live in pond. This is my custom made pond that I make myself and it also just has some perlite in there as well. It definitely does need a repot and a bigger vessel, so I'll probably do that soon. And I did recently just cut this plant. The props are almost ready, so you can probably expect to see some Hoya Glabra on the shop soon as well. So then in the corner here, this is my Anthurium Clean. It has some water spots on it right now because obviously I'm watering plants. I recently did a repot video of this plant and it is doing much better now since the repot. I've been trying to keep it pretty moist for the most part. As you can see that there's some water in here and I'm realizing it really likes that um, versus it being so dry. So I'm just going to just give the top a little spray down but I'm not going to like water it too much right now because it does have some water at the bottom. The issue that I have with the clean is that every time a new leaf comes in, like this one, the old leaf starts to go. And this leaf was like perfect until this leaf came out and now it has this like yellow spot on it. It's still hanging in there and it still looks good, but I know that this is going to spread. So that does make me a little bit upset, but I'm still trying with this plant. I've tried a million times with the anthurium queen it's just requires a lot of like attention and stuff like that which unfortunately i just cannot give it but i'm trying to be better with it and keep up with it so i'm definitely trying to not let it dry out because it's been doing better that way i keep this guy in here where i can see it so um every day i pass by it i can check it and not forget about it in the corner back here i keep this adansonii albo this one is really beautiful. It does have the half moon genetic. It's doing really well. Every single leaf pretty much has a half moon or at least close to it. In the middle, these are some of the newer leaves and it does have a new one coming in there. This plant is really pretty. I'm really happy that I'm able to have this plant in my collection. And once it gets bigger, I do plan on cutting it like all my plants and selling it. And I also keep this one on the moss pole as well with the soil free potting mix and it's doing well. It has has one aerial node like down here and it is growing into it but overall the Adansonii variegated like all of them have been super easy care. I have the Albo, the Mint, the Aria and then the Archipelago and they're all pretty easy. So I just keep this guy in this corner here and I have like a little acrylic shelf that I keep it on. I got this little acrylic shelf from Amazon and then I just have the queen in front of it here. So that is pretty much it for the top shelf. So let's move on to the bottom. So this is the bottom half of the cabinet. Like I said, there is a pegboard in the back here 
with a hanging shelf from Modern Aqua and then there is a small corner shelf down here. You can kind of see it, that's from Modern Aqua as well. The shelf at the top, that's actually the Ikea glass shelf. It's the stock shelf. I don't have any of the modified shelving because I don't really find it necessary. Um, I like the glass shelves anyway. I feel like the glass is a little bit more sturdy and I just like the look of the glass over the acrylic like shelves with the holes in it anyway. So down here is always kind of packed but I'm gonna start on this side over here. So over here I do have a little Thai constellation that is growing in moss and as you can see the moss is starting to grow like grass which is super annoying but uh, I don't plan on keeping this plant which is why it's in moss. There are some roots though so it is growing really nicely but the reason I moved it from water to moss because I planned on bringing them with me to a pop-up event which ended up getting rescheduled so I just decided to keep it. I did sell the other two I had. I kept this one just because it's really tiny and I at least wanted to get another leaf before I decide to list it for sale. So it's just been hanging out in here. I keep it in here just because of the high humidity because it's always about 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit in here and also about 80% humidity when the doors are shut. So next to that plant, I do have a little Mandula pothos here. This is just a little tiny cutting I've been growing. I really like the size of this. Um, I had a bigger one and I decided to sell it as well. I really like the little guys like this and it is in that little cup as well, which fits perfectly on the shelf. Behind it, I do have an Alocasia Jacqueline. I've had a ton of Alocasia Jacqueline's and I still have a lot of them. And I've had a ton of corms from the shop that I've been growing out. I figured why not keep one for myself. I'm not that good with allocations, but I am proud of myself that I have been growing them from the little corms. So these are the roots. And I do have similar allocation jacklins that look like this on the shop. So in case if you do want one, there are some on there. So then next to that, I have this Hoya Compacta Variegated here. This plant is growing in Modern Aqua's substrate called Solum, which is really similar to Fluval Stratum, if you're familiar with it. I've had it in here for a few months now, and I think it's at the point where it's breaking down because it's starting to turn this color, but you can see the roots growing. I definitely feel that it helped this plant in particular root really quickly. Um, this one is a really, really slow grower, so it wasn't growing roots in water, so I had moved it to it, and it finally started, like, growing and pushing out some, like, new leaves at the top. But yeah, like I said, it's starting to turn, like, orange, and I'm not sure why, so I think it's just breaking down, so I'm probably going to take it out of here soon. And I think I might just switch it and put it in like perlite instead, depending on the roots, but if not, I'll just put it in a fresh batch of this because this stuff does break down. It's not like a forever thing. So yeah, I just have this guy just hanging out back here underneath of the light so that it can get sun stressed um, with that pretty pink color. Back here we have the Hoya Sarawak as well, which needs a repot into a bigger pot but it still looks really good this was a one leaf cutting starting to get a little bit sun stress on the top here since it sits under the light so you can see that red color coming in so that's super exciting that's one thing i really like about hoyas is that they get sun stress really easily so this is how it's looking and i just keep it back here so then in this corner this corner is reserved for the Monstera album. Um, this is my big one. I don't know how it's still in here, but it is. And I think the next leaf, it's not going to fit in here anymore. This is the newest leaf here. Um, you can see that there's some browning here. Browning is kind of like something that just happens. Um, you know, when you have a variegated plant, it's going to happen. I don't want anybody to think that, you know, I have this beautiful high variegated albo and it doesn't get brown spots because it definitely does. You can kind of see, I recently put it on one of those cocoa poles back here. I did that because it needed a lot of support and obviously like the plastic moth poles are not gonna just cut it for this plant. It needs to be on something sturdy or it needs to be like on a plank or something. And since I didn't wanna put it on a plank, I decided to put it on the cocoa pole. The reason I chose the cocoa pole is because every time I order wholesale, um, for the shop and I order variegated monsteras or whatever they always ship them on these cocoa poles and they're completely like stuck to them and I'm pretty convinced that this pole works wonders for monsteras 
just because it's not necessarily about the plant like growing into it and stuff like that. It's just so it can give it the support because eventually it will stick to it and it will just continue to grow that way. And like I said, I've, I've only seen good results from my wholesaler using those poles. So I obviously have a ton of those now. So I'm just going to save them for my Monsteros. And I think it looks pretty good on it and it's giving it a lot of support because it was tipping over and I think it looks good now. So yeah, I think that the next leaf that comes out because it's gonna come out from this one is gonna be really close to the top so i'm going to have to start thinking about moving this plant out or cutting it i don't really think i'm going to cut it so i'm probably just going to move it out it does need a massive repot it's in an eight inch pot i think and i'm gonna have to figure that out soon as well yeah i'm not going to water this one today because it was recently watered and i'm quite particular about when I want to water this plant because I don't want it to take a turn for the worse. So I'm going to skip over this one, but I just wanted to show you guys how it was looking and everything like that. So down here underneath of that little shelf, we have a mixture of plants. I'm going to start over here. So this plant right here, this is the Monstera Sotspicana El Salvador. I did just get this plant as a gift from one of my subscribers. Thank you so much, Aaliyah. This is the newest leaf that I just put out. If you haven't seen that video of me unboxing it, you can go and check it out. So it is looking really good. I had only watered it once because I wanted to water it once and then let it dry out before I watered it again. So this is its second water and it does have fertilizer this time. I'm really excited for this plant because because the bigger it gets like it looks really really nice and you can already tell like these leaves are like starting to size up so it's really beautiful so then behind it you can kind of see I'm not really gonna try to like move stuff around because everything's positioned in a way I don't want anything to fall but back here like in here this is the philodendron patrice you can see one of its leaves here and then it has one here and then it has one like back here it's kind of growing everywhere i would prefer this plant to be hanging down but for now it's just in here eventually i'm going to take it out and try to figure out how i can hang it because it looks better when it's like hanging downwards instead of just sitting on a shelf and i do just have it on a moss pole too and then next to it here this is my Singonium red spot tricolor you guys know i really love this plant I love the pink color. Surprisingly, I did get this at Ego Genera. This is one of the newer leaves. It has pink, dark green, and light green. It's really beautiful. This one is really nice too because it has that half moon. The sky is like on its way out. And we do have a new leaf coming in. So I'm excited to see what that one's going to look like. So in the middle here, this really tall plant, it goes all the way down to the bottom. But this is my Florida Beauty here. It is on a LECA pole, you can kind of see. It's definitely high variegated because all the leaves are like starting to go all yellow, but I really still love it. I'm not getting much browning on it either, which is great. Some of the older leaves down here, they have more green on them, but I'm just going to moisten the LECA pole just a bit. And then I'll move the camera down so you guys can see the bottom of the pot and the rest of the plants down here. The Florida Beauty is in a mixture of pond and LECA. It's in the double cup method where I keep the saucer on the bottom with water. And then the pot that it's in does have the drainage holes. It's kind of hard to see just because I can't really move them because they're really, really heavy and I don't want stuff to go everywhere. But um, I did do a video of me potting up these plants, so if you want to see it in more detail, you can go and check that out as well. So how I water it is I just water like the top, and then I'll just fill the saucer up. It does already have water in there because I keep water in there 24-7, but yeah, this plant is semi-hydro, so it is growing well, and it's looking really good. So then next to it, I have a little Syngonium Aria here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell this plant. Uh, I'm trying to wait for at least one more leaf to come out before I sell it because I want to see what the next one is going to look like to determine the price, you know? So I just keep that guy down here. So down here at the very bottom in lower light, I do keep this Adansonii Archipelago here. I'm trying to show you guys what it looks like. So this is how it's looking at the moment. It's really heavy and I'm trying to show you guys, so I'm sorry if you can't see, but this plant I repotted in the same video as the Florida Beauty. So you can go and watch that and see both of them. But the two leaves on the top, those are the new ones. So it comes in that pretty like minty color. 
and I think that it's doing better that it's in lower lights because when I had it in higher light, it wasn't putting out these colored leaves here. It was just putting out like the green ones. So I'm hoping that this color kind of stays. So we'll see. And it is in the same type of pot and mix as the Florida Beauty. So it has the Lekka and the Pond and it's in the double cup method. So I'm just going to spray the top and that's really it with that one. And then the last plant that I have in here is my Monstera Thai Constellation. It has two leaves at the moment. It did have like four, but the other two went and this right here is the newest leaf. This leaf took probably six months for it to come out this year. I don't know why it took so long, but it definitely did. It's getting to the point where I don't think I really want this Thai anymore. I think I'm just gonna buy a bigger one and just go from there. I do really love this Thai though because I obviously have like a connection to it. It was my first Thai ever. I don't know, I think I would rather want just a bigger one that is already like adapted to like room humidity and just keep it like out on a shelf or something like that. But this plant needs a repot as well. It's growing out of the pot. It's just, I just don't have anything bigger at the moment. It is getting a brown spot here. I don't know why. That's the only place where it's getting a brown spot. So not too concerned. Like I said, this was the newest leaf. I think it has a nice mix of variegation. I like how it's like speckled like that. So we'll see what the next one uh, looks like. But at this rate, I don't think I'm even going to get another leaf until like six months later. Those are the plants that I keep down here. It's not that many. They kind of just hang out. Um, there's not that much light down here. It's just enough light, but this guy I think is doing way better in the lower light. I think at some point I'm going to move my Monstera Obliqua Peru in here because they do better in lower light anyway. So it's probably going to come and sit at the bottom here. But for now, I think this is good. So that is pretty much what I have for updates this week. I'm currently working on my Red Stick cabinet, so I'll probably show that off soon. My Double Detox cabinet is pretty empty at the moment, and I think I'm going to leave it empty for a little while i've talked about this before but i'm trying to downsize on a lot of the plants so i'm deciding if i'm going to keep the cabinet or not but we're gonna see i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye